Since the launch of the iPhone 12 mini, many people is speculating about the smaller battery capacity it has and the rumors say lesser battery life. Now I completely agree with that. But still, many ways can be done with iPhone 12 mini to stretch the maximum battery life that lasts the whole day. Hey guys, my name is KS Kirail. In this video, I will show you the amazing battery saving tips of iOS 14 that helps in improving the battery life of iPhone 12 mini. The tips which I will be showing in a moment may also work on any iPhone running iOS 14 or higher. So without a further delay, let's get into the video. iOS 14 brings us support for adding a widgets to the home screen. Now these brand new widgets are super fancy and attract the end user. Now as of now, Apple is offering these widgets to be placed in different sizes. But the problem with them is it's not optimized. Now especially the third party widgets which are downloaded from the App Store may end up eating a lot of battery juice. Now every time you unlock the iPhone, all these widgets needs to be refreshed to display the new content. Now considering the smaller battery capacity in 12 mini, it's a good practice to use a limited widgets. So avoid overloading a home screen with widgets and trust me, the fewer widgets you use on your home screen, the more battery life your iPhone will give at the end of the day. iOS prompts the user when the iPhone battery reaches less than 20% with an alert asking the user to enable a low power mode. But what if I want the low power mode to be turned on at a specified percent automatically? For example, let's say I want the battery saver mode to be enabled automatically or manually when the battery percentage is below 50%. To enable a low power mode at a specified time, you can create a Siri shortcut on your own. Let me show you how to do this. Open Siri shortcuts application, then choose automation. Now select create personal automation and look for battery level. Now this object lets you set the battery percent using a slider. For now, I will set the slider to 50% and then choose the last option, then click on select next. Now choose add action and search for the battery here and then select low power mode. I will uncheck this option and click on done. Now that's it, now we are telling Siri automation, hey Siri, if the battery percentage reaches below 50%, then enable the low power mode. Now as soon as battery falls below 50%, Siri will enable low power mode. Now this would be extremely useful while traveling and disables all the background services that indeed saves the battery juice on your iPhone mini. Hey Siri. Mm -hmm. If you do not use a Siri much, then you should turn off this feature right now. Now under the settings, choose Siri and search option, then find listen for Hey Siri and turn off this feature. iOS has a feature called a background app refresh. Now using this permission, developers use their applications to refresh the content of the application in the background. Now by default, any application you install has this permission enabled. Now this would impact the battery life and end up producing a battery draining issues. Now inside settings, general, then choose a background app refresh. You can find a list of applications that are using the background app refresh feature. Now I recommend turning off the applications that you don't want to get refreshed in the background and this will significantly preserve the battery life. Apps feature is a place where you get to view all of the running applications in the background and it's a place to quickly jump between applications. Now, most people try to close the applications once they are done working with them. 
This is not a good practice according to Apple. Now, closing the applications within the Apps feature needs an iOS to relaunch the state of an application from scratch that impacts the battery life. Now, check this out. Whenever you open any application for the first time, it gets loaded to the random access memory, aka RAM, and the next time you relaunch the same application, it doesn't need to reload or redraw the whole application from scratch, it opens instantly. Now if you close the application from the apps feature by swiping up, and next time if you reopen the application, it reallocates the memory and this will significantly degrade the battery health on your iPhone. So do not close any applications from the apps feature. iOS has optimized in such a way that automatically freezes an application state when needed instead of killing completely iOS 13 has introduced a dark mode for all iPhones. Now, enabling dark mode on any iPhone may preserve the battery life. Now, keep in mind, this would result in huge improvements in battery on iPhones with OLED displays. With iOS 13 and later, optimized battery charging is designed to reduce the wear on your battery and improve its lifespan by reducing the time your iPhone spends fully charged. When the feature is enabled, your iPhone will delay charging past 80% in certain situations. Now, your iPhone uses an on-device machine learning algorithms to learn your daily charging routine so that optimized battery charging activates only when your iPhone predicts it will be connected to a charger for an extended period of time. Inside settings, choose battery health and enable optimized battery charging that would increase the lifespan of battery health on your iPhone. When you don't use Bluetooth, AirDrop, and location services, then turning off would preserve the battery life. From settings, choose Bluetooth and turn off the Bluetooth radio completely. Now if you choose to turn off from the control center, the Bluetooth radio still searches for devices. Also, turn off the airdrop feature from the control center. Now, location services are one of the destructors that eat a lot of battery in the background when enabled. I recommend turning off this feature will improve the battery life and battery age on your iPhone. Choose settings, privacy, and look for location services and turn off. With iPhone 7 Plus, Apple has introduced a feature called Race to Wake. Now, as soon as you take your iPhone into your hand, the iPhone will wake up instantly and ready to start using. Now, this feature is pretty handy and it does cost the battery life. Now, if you don't use this feature, I recommend a better turn off this feature from settings. iOS comes with preloaded dynamic wallpapers that animate in the background. Now, if you are using a, these dynamic wallpapers on your iPhone, just stop using them right now. Now, instead of these dynamic wallpapers, it's always better to stick with a still wallpaper and preserve the battery life. Notifications are one of the things in any smartphone that keeps on waking the iPhone from sleep and this would impact the overall battery life. Now, every time the notification reaches iPhone, it wakes the screen and stays for up to 10 seconds and goes back to sleep. But that means for every notification, your iPhone may wake up and goes back to sleep. So go to settings, choose notifications, and turn off notifications of an application that you don't need. iPhones have all sorts of cool fitness tracking features, which can be great if you care about fitness tracking. But if you don't care about the iPhone's fitness feature, turn it off by going to settings, privacy, motion and fitness and tapping fitness tracking to toggle off. Now here you can toggle on or toggle off specific applications that are allowed to access a sensor data. And lastly, these are the settings you should change on your iPhone. Head over to settings, choose app store, 
then turn off automatic updates for applications. Then choose Display, select Auto Lock, and set the time limit of your iPhone to below 30 seconds. Now what it does, if there is no interaction with the screen for 30 seconds, the iPhone locks the device automatically. Next up, choose mobile data and turn it off when it's not in use. Now also, turning off data roaming when you are not traveling will significantly improve the battery life. And one more thing, under the mobile data options, choose voice and data and choose 2G or 3G if you see these options. And trust me, this will save a lot of battery juice on your iPhone. And that's it guys, these are the few things you need to do on your iPhone 12 mini and trust me, you can achieve a 4 plus hours of screen on time very easily. So what do you think? Let me know in the comment section down below. And thanks for watching this video. This has been KS Kirail. I'll catch you in my next one. Peace.